Hey there, Salim Razai here. So the question at hand is, should the pulse check be dead in cardiac arrest? And it's my contention that it should be. We should stop wasting time trying to feel for pulses. There's an older study that looked at a bunch of seasoned ICU and ED docs and nurses, and they were asked to do one simple task, and that was feel for a carotid pulse in a normal sized person with a normal blood pressure. And you can see over 40% took over five seconds to do this, and another 4% took over 10 seconds. Now we know that AHA recommends no more than 10 seconds at the longest for our pauses during CPR. Now let's extrapolate that to a code situation. Here are two ultrasounds. One on the left is somebody in profound shock, and the one on the right is somebody in true PEA. There is no way our fingers AKA our digitometers are going to be able to differentiate this in a already high stakes situation. In scenario number one, profound shock, this patient not only needs CPR, but he also probably needs vasopressor and inotropic support. In scenario two, true PEA, inotropic support and vasopressors are not going to help. This patient just needs CPR. And so there's probably a percentage of our patients that are not in true PEA that are actually in profound shock. So ultrasound can be a real useful modality here and not our fingers and can also look for reversible causes of the cardiac arrest. Another option is to put the linear probe down in the inguinal area and look for a femoral pulse. You can do this either with Doppler or just simply by looking at the screen to see one, how's your CPR doing, but also two, does your patient have a perfusing cardiac output? Let me know what you think in the comments. I think the pulse check should be dead in cardiac arrest. I'd love to hear your thoughts.